So top 10 biggest mistakes in my life. Top 10 Dune Riders biggest mistakes. Let's go with the, no particular order, but 10 things that I definitely regret. One number one would be taking things too personally, taking things personally in general. How much time and energy do we spend in our daily lives taking fucking things personally? Often someone says something, they don't even mean what they we thought they meant. So many of us take things personally. One of the biggest things you can do in life, avoid taking things personally. There's a big thing I learned probably in 2001. I read a book called The Four Agreements. And I had don't make assumptions, always give your word, always do your best. Don't take things personally. Avoid taking things personally. And that was like a real seed. It was like, makes so much sense, so fucking simple. Have you read The Four Agreements? What did you think? I thought it was a pretty good book. The one, don't take it personally. Always challenging, but always beneficial. Avoid taking things personally. Another one, believing in doctors. Believing in doctors, believing the truth is the authority. Sorry, believing the authority is the truth. These days, in 2015, I see the truth as the authority versus the... What's that? Okay, let's get it. When people get... When I was a kid, I was eight years old, I used to go in at a hospital for asthma, all right? Doctor said, look, Harley, you're never going to be one of those fit kids at school. My mum said, Harley likes to run. No, no running, no outside afternoon air. Got to go stay indoors as much as possible. Sports day, mum would write me a note or I wouldn't do sports day, whatever. So that's a big thing there is I used to believe in the doctors that... Mum said, the doctor's word is final. The doctor may even say, you lean into it. Forget any aspiration, any any dreams of being a fast runner. You, you're one of the sick kids. Just go and study. You're not going to be one of the sporty kids. So I believed that for 10, 12 years of my life because I saw that authority, doctors, police, etc. are the truth. Now, I'm not writing off doctors and police or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, now see truth as the authority. Now we know plenty of doctors smoke, drink, do fucking drugs, fucking kill patients with iatrogenic conditioning, etc. Plenty of police officers out there corrupt as fuck, whatever, you know. Now, I know person, that police officers doing steroids and doing ecstasy tablets on the weekend. Doesn't make them bad people, but they're just everyday humans as well. So I no longer see authority as the truth. Rather, I see truth as the authority. Another one would be late nights. As a teenager, I used to have a lot of late nights. Even my early 20s, a lot of late nights. Staying up late watching bullshit on TV. TV's shit. There's fuck all on TV late at night it's worth watching. Internet's far better. You can choose your own hours. So I would say late nights definitely would be a big mistake. Try and go to bed by 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Get up early. Become a sunrise warrior and watch what happens with your life. I don't always get early nights, but that's generally my goal every day. Early nights for the fucking win. Wake up next morning. Boom. I've had a few late nights here. Been in transit, traveling, etc. Uh, I've got another function tonight in Bangkok. So it's a bit... It, I don't feel as sharp. I like feeling fucking sharp. One of the main reasons I gave up fucking smoking bongs and drinking alcohol is I like to feel fucking sharp. One of the main reasons I gave up stimulants, cocaine, caffeine, cacao, Ritalin. Why well, I gave those things up? Tried them all. Tried them all. Do some of them, but tried them all. Why do I give them up? Because the next day you feel you're down again. I want to have my own fucking Duranerata stimulant. I'm high in being Duranerata, high in being energized, naturally. Not being hydrated. 1996, my martial arts teacher said, Harley, when you drink enough water so your drool line is clear, every time you take a leak, barring when you have a vitamin B tablet or whatever, but you know what I mean? Most of the time when you're pissing, it wants to be clear. If you've had some fortified cereal B vitamins, it's going to be a bit yellow or strawy. But generally, you want to have clear urine every two or three hours. My martial arts teacher said, 1996 in Blackwood, the Blackwood sports hall there, and I was just like, this Andrew guy's been kicked in the head too many times. My urine's been yellow all my life. It's fine. But it wasn't. I've was just been dehydrated all my life. So the doctors didn't fucking tell me that. How the fuck can you go and see a doctor, have asthma? How can I go to hospital again and again? The nurses, the doctors, no one said, here's a fucking hydration chart, cunt. You're an eight-year-old smart-ass cunt. Be a hydrated cunt. Drink your fucking water, cunt. How come they never did that? Because they don't give a fuck. They don't even know. The ones who do know, don't even fucking care to tell you. What, how the fuck does someone go to school, study medicine, and they don't even know about hydration? A hydration chart. How the fuck does that work? How the fuck does that work? Crazy, man. Crazy. So not being enough hydrated. Another one, not being enough carbs. Not eating enough carbohydrates. Eating too much fats. Alright, this is one of the biggest things. I learned that from Dr. Ferrari as well. He said, I think it's 2003, 2004, one of the biggest mistakes he sees as professional cyclists is they don't eat enough carbohydrates daily. So they don't have enough 
glycogen, and then they reach for fatty stuff. And then that carries on in the raw food movement. Don't eat enough fruit, eat more cap, eat too many calories, etc. So I didn't eat enough carbohydrates for the first 20 years of my life. Mood up and down, crying for no reason, being a fucking flaky, flaky space cadet. Doing what a junior space cadet. So you're not eating enough carbs. So you want to eat before you're hungry, every meal, carbohydrate focused. Less protein, less fat. More carbohydrate. Unless you're a two-year-old kid and you're drinking mother's breast milk. But not many, two, not many two-year-old kids watch my channel, do they? So don't give me shit up too much on that one. Believing people who are full of excuses. What does that mean? A lot of the time, we want something more for someone than they want it themselves. you like, oh, mum, go vegan. Like, you'll get slimmer, you'll get healthier, whatever. Go high-carb, low-fat vegan, like, do it on freely. You, you know, and they're like, yeah, eh, eh, not enough protein, not enough protein, or just all this bullshit where you want to like, oh, go get a bite, you'll slim down, get fitness, get the hill. No, don't want it. And we just, like, we spend, spend energy on these people who don't want it. The older I get, the more experience I get at discerning who is interested in change and who is committed to fucking taking action to have that change in their daily life. There's a big fucking mile of difference. Interest and commitment. They're fucking big. So the, over time, you'll quickly work out, okay, this person is interested. This person's fucking committed. This is the person I want to hang around with. These are the people when we're on a Thai fruit festival. The interested people, it's like, yeah, I might try a bike. Well, they're just sort of like, just experimenting and for, and that's cool. That's for fine. That's fantastic. But that's I want to go with committed people. People out there committed. That's who we're going to hang around. We want to fly like an eagle. You can't hang around turkeys. Sorry, turkeys. Trying to be perfect and using it as an excuse not to take action. This is a good one on YouTube. Let's use a YouTube example. For years, I was like, oh well, you know, the camera's not good enough. Well, I didn't do it at film school. Like, like I'm like, you know, I'm not on steroids and swollen. Oh, no, no, no. And I was like, fuck it. I've got some shit that people can benefit from and I want to fucking share it. Instead of focusing on quality and perfection and shiny bullshit that's really just fucking doesn't really do anything, do it now and then if, you've, if you're addicted to perfection and fake shit, put up some videos that are fake and perfect, whatever. I'll do now and then. But focus on more bringing value to community, daily content. Whatever you do, your daily disciplines is what you become tomorrow. Good or bad. Your daily discipline of going to bed late, Long term, fuck your metabolism. Daily discipline of going to bed early, boost your metabolism. Daily discipline of uploading regular content to YouTube, poof, poof, boosts it. So don't get caught up in the perfection mindset of, well, not good enough. No more fucking bullshit. Stop fucking bullshitting you and me and everyone else around you. Take some fucking action. Make it fucking happen. Fucking now. Just so we're clear. Thinking I have the rest of my life to get shit done. We walk around and sleep with I've got the rest of the time to get things done. We that's one of the biggest mistakes we make. We think oh, I can get it done next year, ten year No, you take action today, you get it done today, you get started today, you do something towards that goal today. Tomorrow's goal starts with today, what you've done today. So don't fuck around. Don't sleep walk through life thinking you've got the rest of your life to get shit done. I'll tell you what, you could be dead tomorrow, you could be dead today. No one's getting younger. Alright? No one's getting you just don't have the rest of your fucking life to sleep walk around. So stop distracting yourself with bullshit, emotional bullshit excuses that you use, that I use, everyone uses daily to prevent us from taking real action in life. The human body wants to conserve energy. It wants to conserve energy. So remember that. So when you're sitting down, just staring to nothingness, part of your body goes, this is good. We're conserving energy. But we don't need to conserve energy because we don't have tigers fucking chasing us. We need to get shit done. This world is fucked up. 153 million orphans and counting. More sex fucking kids on the street. What do you call it? Sexual pedophile fucking bullshit on the street than ever before. We need to clean society up. We need to take some action. We don't need fucking Taylor Swift. Fuck Taylor Swift. What the fuck does she do other than distract young women from what really matters in life? Taylor Swift doesn't have any fucking talent. At all. She's just got a pretty face and she's marketable. That's why she does so much cocaine. Because that reality will be like, the world only loves me because I'm ascetic. And she's like, you know what I mean? That would, that, no wonder that these celebs do so much drugs. Because once you're in that reality, and you realize how shallow and fake the world is, <laughs> you want to get off your dial every fucking hour of the day. Last one, getting a vasectomy too late. For years, I, I had a lot of stress with sex with the girlfriends at the time. I'm like, I don't want to get you pregnant. I don't want to have kids. But I still have sex anyway, despite having no vasectomy. Pretty irrefucking responsible. So I'm very lucky to get one pregnant. Very, very lucky. 
But eventually I got the courage and got a vasectomy. Guys, 100% of guys, the reason why they get a vasectomy, because they don't have their fucking guts. Simple as that. Most guys don't want to have kids or they've got kids and they want to not have any more kids. Then get a vasectomy, guys. I say this is a challenge, man to man. Have the balls to book in with your surgeon or some surgeon who doesn't age discriminate and get your nuts chopped. Get a vasectomy. De-stress your life. If you've already got kids, great. Do you need more kids? No, you don't. There's enough kids fucking out there dying every day. 27,000 children approximately under age five are dead today because no one gave me any food or water. We don't need any more fucking kids on the planet. Fuck as much as you want, but just get your nuts chopped. So when you bust your nuts, no more kids are created. Enjoy. It's a win-win. It's a win for you. It's a win for the kids. Win for your missus. Win for your fucking bank account. That's my top 10 biggest mistakes of my life. Post yours down below.